are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Now, Black and White Sports fans, I got to say, I'm absolutely stunned by the topic of today's video. I cannot believe this. Now, if you thought that the 2020 Japanese Olympics in Tokyo was woke. You probably haven't seen anything yet. This is a different type of wokeness, not necessarily the social justice stuff. That still may actually happen this summer in Paris. But Paris has decided to do something pretty insane. Now, guys, I live in Texas, man. In the summertime, it is extremely hot. Last summer, man, if the temperature was uh, 100 degrees, it felt like it was 120. We have a lot of humidity here in Texas. We definitely need air conditioning. We need AC, man. You cannot live in Texas, especially where I'm at, southeast Texas, without air conditioning. Folks, the Paris 2024 Olympics is now going woke on the climate. If you're an athlete, man, and athletes need to be in a peak physical condition, you would expect you you would expect that you would actually go to your hotel room, relax, chill out, so to speak, in air conditioning, right? That is not happening in Paris because they are woke on the climate. I can't believe this, man. If I'm an athlete, there is no way in the world I'm going to actually participate in these Olympics here. This is pretty stunning right here. I just saw this here on Breitbart. And I was like, I got to make a video on this. This is crazy. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday. Just starts at $5 per month. We appreciate the support. So here we go, guys. Check this out. 2024 Paris Summer Olympics. Cancel air conditioning due to climate concerns. Yeah. So they want these athletes to suffer because of climate change. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. This is what happens, man, when you let left wingers be in charge of stuff. It says here the athletes competing at the Paris Summer, Summer Olympic Games will have plenty of condoms, but they will not have air conditioning. Yeah, they actually are going to have condoms here, guys. Look at this here. Apparently, there was some kind of a ban on being intimate. But now they're going to issue 300,000 condoms. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that it actually takes uh, like oil and gas, fossil fuels to actually make condoms. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that it actually takes fossil fuels. But, you know, the Wolsters believe that fossil fuels are bad. Now, here's the thing. We've seen these cl crazy uh, activists out there, you know, trying to destroy the U.S. Constitution People in the UK talking about just stop oil. Those people would not know how to live without oil. Folks, if there was no oil, no gas. Society would collapse. The economy would collapse. I mean, do these people actually think they can actually go out there and hunt for their own food? No, they can't. They can't do it. Uh, but anyway, back to the Olympics here. It says, quote, we designed these buildings so. That they would be comfortable places to live in in the summer in 2024 and later on. We don't need air conditioning in these buildings because we oriented the facades so they wouldn't get too much sun during the summer. And the facades, the insulation is really efficient, says Jan Krasinski, who is directing the service of infrastructure for the games. Boy, 
The buildings housing the athletes will apparently have some sort of cooling system, however. According to our Reuters, cool water will be circulated in the floors of the rooms to generate coolness. Wow. Not the same as an AC, man. The decision to forego traditional air conditioning is born of the organizing committee's desire to make the 2024 Paris Games record breaking in terms of reducing the event's carbon footprint. Oh, my God. Once the Olympic Games are over, planners intend for the buildings once used to house athletes to become housing for up to 6,000 Parisians. The attempt to make carbon footprint history does not come without risk. Some 5,000 people died in France last year due to oppressive heat. And forecasters have claimed there is a possibility of uh, similarly swelling conditions this summer as well. So it gets extremely hot in Paris. But the Waltzers don't care. They apparently want these athletes to suffer and sweat. Folks, this is not going to go over very well. It is not going to go over very well. How do we actually get to this point, man, to where we're demonizing air conditioning? I mean, try having try going to an NBA game. With, you know, let's just say like 20,000 people in attendance. And they say, you know what? We can't turn on the AC because of climate change. I mean, I'm willing to bet that at these events, there's going to be air conditioning, right? I'm pretty sure when uh, Team USA basketball is playing basketball, there's going to be AC. But apparently, you can't sleep in AC. Folks, this sounds like some kind of technology out of ancient Rome. I mean, some 2,000-year-old technology where you're going to have like water circulating through the floors. I mean, the Romans did something similar, you know, especially to heat the floors. We're going back in time, man. We're going back to the Stone Ages, man. This is utterly ridiculous, man. Maybe they actually uh, talked to uh, Greta uh, Thunberg, you know, considering, you know, she's an expert in this whole climate change thing, even though she knows nothing about it whatsoever. Yeah, these people, man, they just want you to suffer, man. They want you to suffer. I mean, think of this, guys. They don't want you to buy gasoline cars. They don't want you to run your AC. They don't want you to eat meat. This is outrageous. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.